Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahushai, Brakata Yahweh, Brakata Yahushai. Kohalo, Yahweh Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakhak Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom Lab Aquarium. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Bashim, which means in the name of. Yahweh Shai is the only begotten Son. Bashim, which means in the name of. Bashim Rakhak Kadash is the Rakhak Kadash is the Holy Spirit. All right, which is the spirit of truth. All right, the volume of the book. All right, uh, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. Uh, they were my teachers. Okay, and uh, also too, um, Shalom La Bukharium means peace to the elect, which the elect is the children of Israel, the chosen of the children of Israel that will be slated to deliverance in these last days. Okay, and speaking of the last days, all right, um, everyone got the notification. It says presidential alert. This is a test of the National Wireless Emergency Alert System. It says a presidential alert. No action is needed. Okay, now this is is just a test, you know, but the thing that I want to point out is that our people, man, they think shit is a joke. So when you, you know, you browse around and you, um you know, dibble and dabble, some brothers dibble and dabble into social media and you see things such as this, you know, and it says, uh, who the fuck gave Trump my number? You know, with the Cat Williams face, and which it, everybody makes, basically, a, um, make it a laughing stock of, of a serious matter, man. In which we're living in very deep, serious times. Yeah, brothers like to, you know, have a good time, get a drink. You know, the scriptures tell you that um, even the laughter the, that the heart is sorrowful, man. So you know, you may even crack a a, a, a smile at it, or you may uh, giggle at it, or whatever, so to speak. But at the end of the day, we know this is very serious times, man. All right. Serious times where you got to get your mind right. And another thing is I want to mention to the brother um, Kazak from the Mississippi camp, the elder brother Kazak from the Mississippi camp. He did a video on it. And um, I actually, you know, I, I wanted to do it on it yesterday, but I, you know, kind of ran out of time or whatever the case is. I, I was able to do another video. All right. Um, but and then I seen the brother, he posted a video on it. And, you know, I watched it this morning and I was like, damn, you know, I just want to say, don't let. Just because another brother did a video on the same thing you want to do, don't be discouraged in doing it, you know, because Satan tried to enter my mind. I was like, oh, fuck it, you don't do it now, you know? And you know, the brother, he get a lot of views, but hey, so what? Maybe somebody didn't see it. And then another thing is too, that the brother brought out another perspective from it, you know, um, that I even thought to myself, because the thing uh, about it is that Jake taking things for, uh, uh, Jake is in slumber, man. Jake is sleep right now, man. All right, our people are, are, are Jake, meaning the Israelites, the, the ne you so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, you, you all are in deep slumber, man. All right, you're, you're comatose when it comes to spirituality, man, and things that are going on nowadays. All right, and guess what? You got the prophets that are out there on the highways and the hedges doing the work of the Lord, uh, um, telling you to, about the things to come. All right, and telling you about martial law and uh, and this so-called white man rolling on you, okay? Just today, you know, I, I'll say this real quick. Just today, you know, um, the customers that I service today, I was in an area where it was basically nothing but Republicans, and you got that thing with the um, the judge, the Supreme Court judge, and I can't think of his name. It starts with a K. Right now, um, I can't think of the, the name of the judge, but he wants to. Um, he's trying to get in office of the Supreme Court and he has a lot of status and basically them Republicans want him up in there because a lot of those Republicans are conservatives and those conservatives believe in the Bible and they don't believe in homosexuality. So it distrays from the agenda of the Democrats, the liberals. OK, so but those Republicans, those gun toting conservatives, if you will, when things when shit hits the fan, they go to the gun, man. So uh, race riots are right in front of us as well, man. OK, so it's, there's no coincidence. All right. That this alert went out to everybody's phone in the United States of America. All right. Because shit is really about to hit the fan. But it's a joke to our people, man. All right. Now, going into it, I want to get the first scripture I want to get. All right. Is the book of Ezekiel chapter 25. I'm going to start it. I'm sorry. The book of Ezekiel chapter 12, verse 25. It says, for I am the Lord. I will speak. And the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. Matter of fact, let me start at verse 24. For there shall no more 
any vain vision nor flattering divination within the house of Israel, right? Because you have a lot of, of our people that knew that they were Israelites and people spoke about the, uh, um, uh, the Lord coming back, even going back to the times of slavery, you had the, uh, the, the Negro spiritual swing low sweet chariot coming forth to carry me home because our people always thought of the deliverance. Even um, during the time when Yahweh Shai was with the disciples for 40 days and they, he left up in the cloud, and the scripture says that the angel said, uh, he asked the, the, the disciples, he said, why are you sitting down gazing? You know, and then they basically asked, when shall thou restore the kingdom of heaven? So the restoration of Israel has been long awaited, but it's finally here. So the, there's no more vain vision then. Okay. Now it says, for I am the Lord, I will speak and the word that I shall speak shall come to pass. It shall no more pro, prolong. Meaning what? It's not going to tarry anymore, man. Like the scripture says, you know, though it tarry, wait for it, man. We're coming in a point in time where the, where, where the prophecies are no longer going to tarry. It's going to be right in front of your face. And either your faith is going to ignite and, and, and boost, all right? Or you're going to faint, all right? And the scriptures tell you that what? If your strength be weak in a day of adversity, then that strength is small, all right? So it's going to show whether you're wood, whether you're stone, or whether you're, whether you're gold tried in the fire. All right, it says, for in your days, O rebellious house, will I say the word and perform it, saith the Lord power. And that's why Jake makes memes such as this right here. Because they're a rebellious house. They want to hide away from the reality of what's to come. Because the prophets are everywhere, man. The men of the Lord are everywhere. The word of the Lord is everywhere, man. It's throughout the four winds of the earth already, man. You got brother out in Hawaii, man. Okay? From Hawaii all the way to California. That's two different sides of the earth. Okay, from Hawaii to New York, that's two different sides of the earth, no matter how you want to slice it, man. Okay. Verse 26, it says, again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, behold, they are the house of Israel. The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Right. And that's the mindset of the children of Israel today. You so-called Negroes and Hispanics and Native Americans, man, mainly. All right. Your mindset is what that? Oh, uh, uh, the, the end times are not near us. OK, even even the guy whose house I went into today, which was a Republican, a conservative, he broke it down. Man, he said, look, don't you got it? Which that guy had to be a Jake. First of all, he was humble. All right. But he was he was he, he was in the army. He served in the military, but he was a Christian. He was a Republican. He was like, man, you got to look that the man upstairs ain't happy with the conditions today. You see all the tornadoes and the different uh, earthquakes and the different storms. That's all prophesied in the scriptures, man. All right. So it's inevitable that we're living in the last days flat out. OK, why? Because of because uh, uh, of filth that's lingering on the earth because but these people that live in the filth, they can't see the filth because they're amongst the filth. All right. So it says, again, the word of the Lord came to me saying, son of man, behold, they are the house of Israel. The vision that he seeth is for many days to come. And he prophesied of the times that are far off. Why? Because they're basically running from judgment. Therefore, say unto them, thus saith the Lord power, there shall none of my words be prolonged anymore. But the word which I have spoken shall be done, saith the Lord power. Right. And that's what the time that we live in and that the days of what the prophets have spoken of Wars in the Middle East, all right? Let the weak say it, I am strong, all right? Now, when you go back, I was dwelling on this earlier in the week. Now, when you go back during the time of the 40s, and which you had World War II, okay? Which back then, people thought that was the end, okay? You had prior to that World War I, okay? But then if you fast forward going into the 70s and the 80s, that's when you really had those Arab countries when you go into Joel, the third chapter, in the Valley of Jehoshaphat, that's when you had those countries rising, and when the scripture says, let the weak say that I'm strong, those are the Arabs, okay, that didn't have that kind of power. They didn't have a say-so in World War I, World War II, okay? But now the weak, those, those nations that were getting bullied at the time are now uh, basically able to defend themselves, okay? So that's another great indication. Why? Because war is scorching hot in the Middle East, okay? Within Syria, within uh, uh, Afghanistan, Iraq. Uh, not to mention, you can't forget Iran, 
All right. There's reports of di different uh, wars going on in Tunisia, which is in North Africa, which that's the area of Libya, which when you go into Ezekiel, the 38th chapter, all that, all that is what? All that is a part of the prophecies to show that we're living in the last days. OK. Next scripture I want to go into. It says uh, we went from there. Let's go to Second Peter, chapter 13. I'm sorry. Second Peter, chapter three, verse 10. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. All right. Now, the point of the matter is that the scriptures tell you that the, the day of the Lord is going to come as a thief in the night, man. Meaning what? Those that can't see in darkness, they're going to get caught in the, in the storm, man. It says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. What is that talking about? Thermonuclear destruction. And if you don't know how to break down the thermonuclear destruction in the scriptures, keep watching the videos, man. Keep watching. The, it's mainly Great Millstone videos. You see that name GMS, the beginning of a, a title of a, um, of, a, 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 of a subscription. And nine times out of ten, there's a video in there going into the missiles. Find the videos, man. Type in thermonuclear destruction and click and put Great Millstone. You'll see a bunch of videos pop up, man. All right? Because why? Those uh, great within Great Millstone and those that have been taught under the umbrella of Great Millstone are the prophets. Are telling you about the times to come. Okay? It says the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, those thermonuclear bombs, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Okay, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved, what manner of persons ought ye to be in all holy conversation and godliness? See, when you see these things, we ain't supposed to be making mockery of it, you know? We supposed to be actually gearing up, preparing your mind for war, man. Okay? Sharpening your sword, putting on the whole armor of the most high. Ephesians the sixth chapter. All right. Because the scripture tell you what that this I'm gonna go into it. Give me one second. It says, uh, 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 looking, verse 12, looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of the Lord, wherein the heavens being on fire shall be dissolved and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Okay, that's the thermonuclear destruction that's coming. Now, another prophecy, which a part of it, okay, we're going to Psalms chapter 17, verse 10. All right. And this is dealing with the wicked, Esau, Edom, the so-called white race. Okay. You Amalekites as well, especially you so-called Jews. It says they are enclosed in their own fat with their mouth. They speak proudly, right? Even when I was talking to the one guy earlier that was in the military, he was basically talking about how, you know, because he was in the military, you know, he, like I said, I believe he was an Israelite, but he was in the military and th that military mindset is still in him, okay? And he believes that America can't be beat. Just like a lot of other Israelites that's in America, they believe that America can't be beat. They getting down with the with the with the winning side, if you will. All right. And he was talking about the different uh planes that the F-35, I believe he mentioned, after China was basically flexing their muscles, America flexed their muscles on the different war crafts that they have, okay, the different weaponry that they have, because they're speaking proudly. They they don't believe that they can go down. All right, verse 11, it says, They have now compassed us. What does it mean to compass? It means encircled us and our steps. They have set their eyes bowing down to the earth. Meaning what? They're looking down on us. All right? The scriptures tell you that uh, uh, um, the prey departeth not. Okay? Meaning what? That our people are just a, a, a sheep that's being led to the slaughter, man. It says, like as a lion that is greedy of his prey and as it were a young lurking in secret places. Right? Because the, uh, the scriptures tell you what? Deliver me from the secret counsel of the wicked. Okay, the, the, uh, because why? They, the, our, our enemies make a tumult against us. All right. It says, verse 13, arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. See, the wicked is the most highest weapon stick. Okay, the, the wicked, the so-called white man Esau Edom is on earth to be that disciplinary uh, 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 vessel from the most high on our people. And that's what Trump is in office for it. basically to discipline our people, man. And he gonna let loose. He gonna they gonna the, the the different political offices. They gonna rouse up these different uh, Edomites, these different uh, uh, classes of people. 
okay? And they're talking about different governors coming into office and uh, getting Medicare for everybody. And see, these, 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 these gun-toting Edomites, these Christians, they ain't having it, man. Okay, why? Because they, they know it's going to come out of their pocket for lazy-ass Jake to get fucking uh, 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 metal, uh, uh, Medicare, man. All right, to get, um, um, what do you call it? Insurance, man, health insurance. Okay? Which that whole system is wicked in anyway. But still, the point of the matter that the Most High is stirring up the pot for different uh, uh, events to happen. And one of them is race riots. And then it's going to lead to martial law. In the midst of that, you have thermonuclear destruction, man. Okay? This is, uh, I'll probably close off on this. This is uh, Romans chapter 13. I'm going to go to the point. Chapter 4, 13, verse 4. This is talking about the wicked, who the Most High established, okay? Matter of fact, let me start from the top. I'm going to read down. It says, let every soul be subject to the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. Well, who's the powers that be? Back then when Paul wrote this, he was speaking of the Romans. That Roman Empire is back, okay? And who ruled the Roman Empire? Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. Verse 2. Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of the Most High. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. Meaning what? When you have to pay tribute to them. Meaning what? Pay your taxes, man. And that's what it's talking about. Now, when that RFID chip is implemented, then we ain't going to be we ain't gonna be paying attention to what Esau has to say. We're not going to be a uh, 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 tribute to them anymore. Okay? It says for rulers. Who's the rulers? Okay? The different politicians. The, uh, the Illuminati. The so-called white man. Okay? Those elite bankers for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to but to the evil. Meaning what? If you were doing the right thing, you ain't got nothing to worry about. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same. Right. So just do the right thing. That's why the scripture said in Peter's what manner of persons ought ye to be an all holy conversation and godliness, man. So you ain't got to worry about the different things that's to come. But when people are scared, they start making jokes. That's what it boils down to, man. Okay? You see that when you was growing up. A nigga, he ain't want to fight somebody. He nigga start cracking on him or whatever. You know, start uh, making fun of the guy. Because he ain't want to fight him. <laughs> you know? That's just a small example. You know, it says for verse 4. For he is the minister. What is a minister? A minister is a servant. For he is the servant of the Most High to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. Why? How does he play good? In the sight of the in the sight of the good, right? Why? Because he's showing you forth who he is. Okay, he's not hiding himself anymore. He's a he's a tall tale sign that this is the end, and then we're up next to rule. Second Ezra chapter six verse seven and nine. The parting of the sun of the times is when Esau goes down and Jacob gets lifted up, lifted up. Right. Check it out. It says, but if thou do that which is evil, be afraid, for he beareth not the sword in vain. And whose blessing was the sword? Esau, Edom, man. Just like back then during the time of the Roman Empire, they ruled with the sword. Okay? It says, for he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Okay? And that's, Esau is here to put judgment on those that been hiding from judgment, man. They've been hiding and they've been transgressing the law, statute, and commandments, and they've been told what they've been doing wrong. But now the Most High is going to unleash his sword. He's going to unleash his vengeance through Esau Edom. Verse 5 Wherefore ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. You know? So basically, you know, just keep doing the right thing. So Esau Edom is he's there to keep your conscience on point. You know? When Esau eat him, the, the cops is fucking with you. Yeah, you got to look at that like, you're, or, or, not just the cops or whatever altercation you get into. You got to look at it. That's the most high chastening you, man. But don't take it as your downfall. Take it as a lesson. All right? Now, this chastening that's to come with the martial law and, and race riots, man, this is, this is all for our purification, man. Because, hey, look, the, the faith is going to uh, increase. Like the scriptures tell you, man. All right. And I, that's pretty much it. And the Lord's will, you know, brothers was edified, you know, just, you know, keep doing the work, man. Keep a pure conscience to the best of your ability. You know, I'm going to give all praises to you. Howard by Shimmy, Howard Shai, by Shimmy, Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. 
Shalom to the elect. Shalom, la All right? Shalom. 